This is the third day I received mail for marketing. I don't care what his special needs are, get rid of him. Here's the report, but I really had to fudge the figures, mate. Why so? Original specs, we were supposed to interview family members as well. Due to budget constraints, we had to cut those interviews. Those interviews were integral to the study. Just use the data you have. Mike, I hired extra staff and we interviewed a family member for everyone in the trial. Being busy, what did you find? 75% are more grumpy. Okay, so we'll have less have a nice day and more fuck you. It'll be less like America and more like France. Mother and I holidayed in Paris and the French are actually really nice. Bottom line, we cannot let anyone know about this. Otherwise, all our shares are worthless. Well, I did two reports, one with and one without the new details. Here's the one without. Well, good work on the report. Much appreciated. Computer, candle share prices. Hi Matthew, here's your mail. Oh hi Ricky. Marketing? Hey Ricky, this is for... Where do you go? Breaking news. The strangled bodies of several girls have been found today, dumped in the woods just outside of town. This brings the total number of serial killers at large to 15. A lot of speculation on what could be causing this deadly epidemic, but no solid leads as yet. Ooh, Nana, looking hot. I know what's causing the serial killer epidemic. It's fast asleep. What are you talking about, Matt? Well, it all adds up. Fast asleep not only causes cranky people, it also causes a fuckload of people to become psychotic serial killers. Now, hold on. That is a wild accusation. It's so obvious. We trial this new drug, and then one week later, there's a serial killer epidemic. There is no proof. Well, maybe if I give the police DNA results on everyone in the trial, maybe they can cross-check if anyone in the trial were involved. This is going to kill our shares. A share is more important than lives. Sorry, Mike, but I have to. Oh, look at the time. It's 5.05. All the lab guys go home at 5. Say, how about 9am first thing you and me visit the Chief of Police? Oh, that'd be great. I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. Thanks, Mike. Don't mention it. Computer, Matt Bernard's home address. Four days since Fast Asleep went on sale and an estimated 70 million now enjoys benefits. I've been enjoying this new wonder drug. In the last four days, I've hardly slept and I feel wonderful. I'm feeling great as well. And with all this extra time, I'm learning the ukulele. And I'm learning Swahili. Hard body. That's great. But we have heard reports that people are getting a little... Grumpy? Yes, grumpy. But overall, Fast Asleep has been well received. And we have with us the man of the hour, Mike Candle. Hi, Mike. Hi, Kristen, Paul. So, Mike, you must be over the moon with Fast Asleep's success. I am, but it's bittersweet. Matt Bernard, brilliant chemist and close friend, recently died. The cause is still unknown, but rest assured, folks, he was not taking fast to sleep. Our deepest sympathy to Mr. Bernard's family. So Mike, you now have a drug a quarter of the country is using. What's next? I'm taking a family vacation 
and on my return we gear up for a worldwide release. Well Mike, thanks for making Fast Asleep available, it's amazing. Yes, thank you Mike. Bye Kristen, Paul, bye. Bye. Nice guy. And now for our top story, a talking squirrel. Tomorrow, you're going to be my birthday candle, okay? Ah!